Wednesday afternoon, on demand storm tracker forecast time. I'm Chief Meteorologist Mike Kurt checking in with you around 1 o'clock here on your Wednesday. And you got an upper level low, a trough sitting over the Pacific Northwest, extending into Idaho and Montana. This is keeping the cool and unsettled weather pattern alive. But watch out for this storm system that will work its way into southwest Montana Thursday night into Friday morning. And this could bring some snow to mountain passes. This could bring some snow to the lower valleys as well in the early morning hours on Friday. But let's focus in on our short-term forecast for this afternoon. There are some scattered hit and miss valley rain, mountain snow, and a few rumbles of thunder are possible as we go into the early evening hours for tonight. Even spotty showers continuing around 9, 10 o'clock this evening, but skies should clear by early tomorrow morning. So we're starting the day off Thursday, mostly dry, mostly clear. Watch for some patchy valley fog and cool in the early morning hours. But by Thursday afternoon, and perhaps even early evening, uh, around 4 or 5 o'clock, we're starting to see this low moving into central Idaho. And this will bring a pretty decent punch of moisture along with some colder air as we go into Thursday evening into the early morning hours on Friday. Snow levels could come down to 5,000 feet, it looks like here, possibly, by the early morning hours on Friday. There could be some moderate to heavy rain setting up in the overnight hours, Friday morning around 2, 3 o'clock a.m. between Butte and Bozeman. But the low is sitting and spinning over the northern half of our viewing area. Lesser impacts between Dillon and West Yellowstone. But around 9 a.m. Uh, Friday morning, look at the snow possible for Butte, Elk Park, McDonald Pass, Boulder Hill. Uh, be prepared for some wintry travel in the early morning hours there on Friday. And then it turns more scattered as we go through the afternoon Friday. But the good news is this storm will be gone by the weekend. So rainfall forecast modeling, again, these areas highlighted in blue and yellow, even some red in there, shows that those are the areas that are have the best opportunity for some moderate to heavy precipitation. Some of this will be rain, some of this will be snow, and snow accumulations are definitely possible as you work your way in uh, across the Pintler Wilderness areas, the racetrack range, and you can see north of Butte there possibly as well, then down towards Red Lodge, Yellowstone National Park, definitely looking at a snowy weather pattern Friday diminishing into Saturday.